Hey guys, so here's the second batch of the diastatic brown malt. I've just been air drying this. We've had some good weather, so putting it here by the window. Got some nice sunlight coming in on it. Um, it's been there for two days, uh, which is longer than the first batch. The first batch I only did one day. And I'm just going to use the pellets and avoid the charcoal with this batch. It's actually quite a bit drier. You know, it does dry quite a bit, surprisingly, just sitting out here. Um, but if you bite into it, there's still a bit of give, so there is moisture still in there. Here's a look at the Special B. I didn't make a video for this one, but if you wanted more information on it, uh, check out my blog. I've got the whole procedure there. It's Special B is just basically a dark caramel malt. Uh, really dark. That's This was kilned at... Uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit for five and a half hours. It looks light, but if actually you broke that apart, you'd see inside it's um, almost black. Um, very sweet, nice and raisiny, lots of flavor. I'm um, looking forward to using this one. So is the cat. Should make a litter box out of it. Get out of here. Okay, that just went out, and uh, it's been in here for about three hours, and it's been holding steady at about 115. Um, so three hours, and it's pretty dry, which is nice, as opposed as opposed to 12 hours. Um, so I'm going to step up the temperature, and I'm going to use two gas fires instead of just the one. So here's how I'm getting them started. Uh, fill them up with the wood pellets and then put a little fire starter on the top. Um, about like two or three chunks right on there. And that third can there is just for the, uh, the coals and the ashes. Okay, got the two gas fires in there. And temperature's rising up to about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. It's only, I've only had the two gas fires in there for about 30 minutes, so it should get hotter. Okay, I'm right into hour two with both burners going. And, whoa, getting quite hot here. Actually, thermometer's reading 250. Ouch. And that's way too hot. So, let's give it a stir. So here is batch number two of the diastatic brown malt. And let me show you the color difference between the brown malt on the left and an unkilned malt. So that's just been air dried on the right. And uh, what's really interesting about the diastatic brown malt is that if you break it open, you won't be able to see it on here on this video, but I have it on my blog. I'll, I'll post some pictures. The inside is a nice tan color. It's brown, uh, light brown in color. It got quite hot, maybe around 250 at the most when I was kilning it at the end. But mostly it stayed around uh, 215, 220, I think. So six hours total kilning of this malt. So, um, next video I'll try to make some beer.